Richardson. And I'm Lindsay Boach. We first start at four with a local sheriff who's speaking out today in response to a recent ruling in favor of the ACLU in a lawsuit. That lawsuit was filed in 2019 by the ACLU challenging the Teller County Sheriff's agreement with ICE to hold undocumented immigrants at the Teller County Jail. 11 News reporter Michelle Wells is joining us in studio to break down what's happening today. Sheriff Jason Mikesell says he believes this ruling and then recent moves by lawmakers in our state are making all of us unsafe. Adam Lindsay, Sheriff Mike Sell says he, along with El Paso County Sheriff Bill Elder and other leaders, worked to pass this new law this year, allowing local law enforcement to turn information about immigrants who've committed crime over to the federal immigration authorities. That bill ultimately failed to pass. He says this is costing Colorado taxpayers more money because they're having to keep these people in their jails rather than turning their case over to federal agents for them to handle it. He also says not being able to work with their federal partners allows people from other countries to commit crimes in this state and be released from jail to commit crimes again. What state government or lawful organizations, legislative bodies, would hinder law enforcement from stopping rapists, murderers from other countries coming to this state to conduct crimes. We also, we also received a statement from the American Civil Liberties Union. They say in part, quote, despite the sheriff's rhetoric, most immigrants are hardworking, upstanding people seeking a better life for themselves and their families. The the evidence is that immigrants commit fewer crimes than citizens. Our case confirmed that no sheriff in the state of Colorado is above the law. The Colorado Court of Appeals made that clear this month when it put an end to Teller County Sheriff Jason Mikesell's efforts to hold immigrants in jail when he had no legal basis to do so. Sheriff Mikesell uh, says he will continue to do what he thinks is necessary to keep everyone safe. Back to you. And I do want to point out that Bill Elder is the former El Paso County Sheriff as well. Uh, thank you, Michelle. We appreciate it. Let's get a check of your weather forecast. And meteorologist Kevin Bloomberg is joining us here. And I know you said this at